Hey guys, this is Rob on behalf of Smarty Resource. Uh, I'm going to do a quick uh, demonstration on how to upgrade or update the uh, Smarty Touch software. So right there you saw me install the SD card into my computer. Next thing you need to go is uh, smartyresource.com to the download section, Microsoft Windows software, and then you need to download and install WinZip. It doesn't matter which version you pick, only one will work on your computer, whether you have a 64-bit or 32-bit edition of Windows. Once you download 7-Zip and get that installed, you can then go and uh, download the Smarty Touch software. So if you have Windows XP, you're probably 32-bit, anything later, uh, probably 64-bit. So now we're heading back over to Smarty Resource. Going back to the download section. I'm going to go to Smarty Touch. And the latest Smarty Touch update. And download this file. You're going to have to agree to download it. And if it doesn't go straight to the downloads folder, um, you can just choose where you want it to go. For me, I like to keep things simple, so I just put a new folder on my desktop here called uh, Touch New and download the firmware into that. So it's a pretty big file, it's about 400 megabytes. And through editing magic, we're going to uh, shorten this download up. So once your download is finished, then you want to navigate to that folder that you stored it in, whether it be your downloads folder or a folder that you chose, like mine, which was on the desktop um, called Touch New. So now we're going to right click on the downloaded file, go down to 7-zip, and extract to that file or folder name. All right, next we're going to go over to the SD card from the touch. We want to delete everything except for the custom and any log folders that you have. Uh, custom is where all your uh, custom tunes are going to live, so you definitely don't want to delete that. And now we're going to go back to the folder with the new firmware in it. We're going to select everything except custom, copy it. You can right click and copy or control C. And then click in that box, control V or right click and paste. And through editing magic, we've copied those files amazingly fast. And that's it. Next step is we're going to go right click on the SD card and click eject. Okay, so from this point we've already electronically ejected the SD card. So now we're going to just physically remove it from the computer and we'll head out to the truck and uh, get it put back into the touch. Okay, here we are back in the truck. So my truck is an 05. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It's the same for all the different years. So basically you just take the uh, SD card, you want the little electrical contacts facing you, stick it into the touch. There you go, and then we're just gonna tap it. And this is with the key off, by the way. I have no keys in the truck. So we Register that there's a firmware update.
and it's just going to go through the process of updating. Uh, it doesn't really require anything from you. All right, and that's it. So you can either wait 10 seconds or press exit. We'll just hit exit here, and you just have to go back through the uh, screens. And I'm getting an error screen because the key's not on. It'll go away as soon as you turn the key on. And there you go, right back to your dashboard. So that's it from start to finish, how to update the Smarty Touch. Uh, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please um, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, um, share it on Facebook. Um, also, if you have any questions uh, or comments about the video uh, or how to update the Smarty Touch, go ahead and uh, leave some comments below. Um, if, if you need tech support, go to smartyresource.com, uh, check the forums, and if you can't find your answer there, then uh, please go ahead and open a trouble ticket, and uh, one of us will be with you shortly to figure out uh, how we can help you. And thanks again for watching. Bye.